So joining me now to talk about his experience is CBS This Morning co-host John Dickerson. So John, I'm laughing because you're normally a pretty mellow guy, but man, you were super mellow when you were coming out of that thing. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> I was highly and heavily medicated coming out of yes. that. True, it's true. So what was the experience like for you? Well, I had two different experiences. So one was in Tulsa, and that was um, fascinating, but it was, you know, there were cameras in the room, there was more light on. So mm -hmm. I came back to do it in Brooklyn here, where it was the full, totally dark. I kept my eyes open for the entire hour. So it takes some more energy to keep your eyes closed than open. And so it's extraordinary when you look out and you literally cannot see your hand before your face. Yeah. And, and there's nothing for your eye to stop on. And so you really do feel like you're just this sort of brain floating in space. And the biggest sensation was, in both instances, is when the light came on after an hour, I thought I'd only been in there for, you know, half an hour or something. Yeah. If, so it's the basically time passing incredibly quickly. I'm impressed that you did the full complete darkness thing because I did this in September and I had the option of sort of going into that tank where they just shut the door and it really is that dark. And the idea of doing that made me anxious and the thought of being alone with my thoughts and nothing else terrified me. Well, that's one of the reasons we are doing this series yeah. is because there are a lot of reasons that people feel uncomfortable being alone with their own thoughts. And it has nothing to do with but their something's own. Something's wrong with that. Well, we're <laughs> trained by the devices we carry and the email we check and the constant deluge of news and information yeah. to always have something just giving us a little bit of, a, of, of a excitement in, for our um, neural pathways. Yeah. So when we don't have it, we get hungry. Now, the problem is that um, that leaves us basically snacking all day and doing nothing focused for an ex extended period of time. Mm. So this is an attempt to regain, get back in touch with that sense of really super deep focus. And then can you get that once you get out of the out of the bullion base? What I thought was really interesting on <laughs> the bullion base, that's very good. Um, what I thought was really interesting about your story is after I did it, and I did it with sort of a little bit of light th that you could control, I yeah. needed to have some sort of control in that pod. And so knowing that I could bring the lights up and down relieved me a little bit um, that I came out feeling as you did great a little lighter a little more mellow mm -hmm. and it, it it felt like this must be something good to do but I didn't know why right. very interesting to see the science behind it yes so the blood pressure drops the heart rate drops and um, and what's interesting not with respect to what I was there for but other reasons they're using this is to get blood pressure to drop that fast is more powerful, uh, so say the experts, than mm -hmm. any kind of medication you would take. Mm -hmm. So being able to do that is, uh, has health benefits outside of the mental benefits. Uh, but what I found was that when I came out, I had this very heightened awareness of sound and sensory. I remember hearing the keys of one of the people working in the place in Brooklyn, and it was as if they were jangling right next to my ear. Oh, um, wow. And just that, what they say about training your attention, which is what this is all about, keeping your attention under control so that you're not constantly distracted, is that mindfulness is the key. And so mindfulness is essentially just being aware of your surroundings, your body, your habits. And so this, if nothing else, it short circuits the madness of the day, but it also is perhaps a training of mindfulness, which then can be helpful again once you're outside the tank. So then did they, they, did they talk about how frequently one would have to do this to get your mind where you have the ability to focus even when all this hustle and bustle is happening around well, you? Well, and that's the, that's the $64,000 question, right. is how often you have to do it. I suspect it's different for each person. It is like a practice in meditation that you get better at it over time. It feels like, and I don't, I think this is true in terms of those who've studied it, it feels like a very intense kind of meditation that you don't necessarily need to be a practiced meditator to get to. Mm -hmm. It's usually the kind of thing, if you're in meditation, that it takes a long time of practicing before you can get this long, deep, extended focus. Yeah. So uh, it's it's not clear. I mean, I'll keep doing it, and we'll see where things end up at uh, some point. But I'm uh, curious, we don't know. what did you think about when you were in there? You know, I tried to get my brain off track. I tried to, as we all do, we have places we can go in our heads where the, the hamster wheel just turns and turns and turns. <laughs> yes. And, you know, it, I could not go there. It was funny, I kept trying to sort of scare myself. I've been in MRIs a lot, and in an MRI, I once opened my eyes, and you know, the MRI is basically like a coffin. Yes. And it was the most primal kind of fear that I've ever had. And so, not, there was none of that here. Mm -hmm. um, and mostly, I just um, was in this kind of clear, empty place. Um, I did some meditation things that I've yeah, uh, learned over the years. Yeah. Um, but I did not find it a huge struggle. 
to kind of get myself back on track. Um, and one key thing, if anybody's ever going to do this, is to have sort of, they have a pillow kind of for your head because the, when I did it the first time, my, your neck uh, hurts and so that, yeah. that can get in the way of Because the it takes just a wee bit of practice to sort of really release and, and believe that the water will hold you up. Yes, you know? yes. A ton of salt in that water. Yes, yeah. yeah. Don't touch your eyes like no, I did exactly. by mistake. Exactly, yeah. Bad because, idea. Oof, and if you have any cuts, make sure they're covered. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. John Dickerson, thank you very sure much. Thing, <laughs>